Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to tell you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. It hasn't arrived just yet, but it will do shortly. Glad to report, though, that that hasn't affected the crowd, who are here in good number and indeed in good voice. And the game will be underway very soon. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Hearts have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital, to make it a success but this team knows what it's doing and I think we're going to see that reflected there's the whistle and here we go Whelan hoists it forward Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And he's surging through. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. Defending of the desperate variety. Hearts still without an attempt on target. And it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. to get it forward quickly and we're not going to make any further progress now away from immediate danger forward it goes Whelan, Whelan goes looking, looking to hit the front line, oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Plays it out to the wing. Lovely feet. We sit forward. There is the half time whistle. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. <laughs> what have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. So they head in no further forward. The score here still 0 0. And we're already back on the way here. So, deadlock still as the second half begins.
great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's a terrific surge down the right. Swept in. Danger averted for now. Tries to get it forward quickly. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Oh no, that's not the ball he wanted. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Forward it goes. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Gets it upfield. And it's played forward. And that is as far as they're going to go. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to get it forward quickly. Aberdeen are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Looks to clip it forward. <laughs> Hoists it forward, cuts it out. Just starting to get the first signs of rain here. And it's played forward. Plays it long. Well waited. Gets away from his opponents. He's gone for it! Yes! He's done it! And that might well be that! Hurts are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Hearts take what looks to be a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Fuck. And the referee brings it to a close. What a game. End-to-end, -end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Thrilling nail biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely. To